Hey, Tom with the Gal Group. I want to give you a quick update of what's going on in the real estate market. And I think you're going to be a little bit surprised, especially given some of the negative headlines that have been out there lately. And just due to the fact, too, that mortgage rates and interest rates just seem to be stuck right now. Uh, I know there was a lot of expectations that we we're going to start to see some rate declines by the Fed, which we're going to kind of cascade into de uh, declining mortgage rates by this time of of uh, this year, and we just haven't seen them so far, although the Fed is still uh, keeping those on the table for uh, later in the year. So let's dive into the numbers here and take a look. Uh, first of all, if we look at the trends here, and this is where, like I said, I think you're gonna be surprised. There's a lot of green on this graph here in this chart. And um, the first section of it shows, uh, compares uh, March to April, and the second section compares April of this year to April of last year. So the first part, you know, there's a lot of green, like I said, it's comparing uh, March to April. And that part doesn't really surprise me because a lot of the, what we're seeing there is just plain seasonality in the market. But I think what's more important is when we take a look at the bottom part here and it's comparing April of this year to April of last year, listings are up, pending sales are up, closed sales are up. Basically everything's on the rise despite what's going on in the marketplace. So let's boil it down a little bit more when you look at listing activity here. And listings just so far this year have been stronger than uh, 2023. All the numbers are pointing in the right direction here in terms of listings. And uh, I think one thing that's important to look at that the previous chart didn't look at is year to date. And year to date, we're up 6.6%. Uh, compared to the first four months of 2023. So listing activity uh, is stronger. We can take a look at sales activity. Sales is pretty much on par with where we're at last year. Um, you know, the, the, the recent numbers are up, uh, like we were talking about. The year-to-date number is just slightly down. It's down 1.8%, so that's not a very big number. And most of that was due to a little bit weaker sales in February and March. Months of inventory, uh, inventory actually edged up in April um, to uh, 2.4 months. It's actually 4.3% higher than what it was in March. It's 26% higher than what it was in April of last year, but it's also lower than where we started the year out at. So converting all this in the pricing, and I think this is where a lot of people are also surprised. Like people thought when rates shot up, prices were going to come down, and we just haven't seen it. You can see that here in this graph. Um, we're up 4.8% uh, over March. We're up 2.1% compared to April of last year. And the overall trend line for pricing in Portland has been just steady increases. So what's my take? Uh, first of all, I've seen a number of headlines uh, where um, more and more home buyers are tired of waiting and are starting to buy despite higher interest rates. And we're seeing that in the market. We're seeing that in the information that is uh, provided here. Rates actually edged down a little bit this week from last week, uh, but overall rates have remained sticky. And it has to do with the fact that the economy is stronger than what the Fed actually would like to see. The jobs numbers have been stronger. Uh, the inflation number has been a little bit higher, so they haven't come off their, uh, their interest rate and that they haven't initiated those cuts. They're still saying that they're keeping some on the table, but you know we're not going to see any cuts in the first half of this year. Prices continue to remain strong also, like I just showed in this, this graph here, and I expect them to continue to do that into the future. I still don't, I don't see the crash that some people are just saying is going to happen. And if I listen to how, you know, people tell me that the market's going to crash, I've been hearing that since about two, four, 2014 when I got in the market, you know, 10 years ago. So, and it really hasn't done it yet. Have questions or want more information about um, real estate? about your home, about your neighborhood, give us a call, reach out to us on social media, shoot me a text. We'd love to hear from you.